All right, what's up, guys? This is Paul here, back for some more Spyro Year of the Dragon on the PlayStation 1. Last time we left off, we were just about to head on out of this world, and I think we have one more level left. That is the Flying Speedway thingy level, uh, which is called Country Speedway, if my memory serves me correctly. So, we're just gonna head on over there today, quickly complete that for the basic challenge, and then we're gonna head on over to the next world. I think we have a boss to take on midway, but first off, let's go in here as I glide through the wall and uh, take on this speedway course. Now, I, I will say in advance, I am not the best at these speedway course is. Courses, I guess that's the word. But Spyro 3 speedway courses seems to be a lot easier than the, the, uh, the second one, so we'll give it a go. Try and get all the gems as we go along here. Boom. So I think we have to just kill all of these tractor dudes. Um, I think there's four in total for this one, if I can remember correctly. It might take a while for my hands to warm up though, because it is freezing cold in this room. And my, my reflexes suffer badly when my hands are freezing cold. But let's get these cows. I think we're still on track here. Oh, no, wrong way. I'm gonna have to make up some time. Okay, I think we've missed that one. Uh, I'm gonna give up. I'm going down on my D-pad, but for some reason it won't let me go down. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna continue this one again. There was no way I was getting that. But we'll give it another shot and see what we can do. Uh, today today was so weird. Um, I get into, like, my house has just been freezing cold all day. I have no idea why. We've turned the heating up, but it's just one of those days that my, uh, my house doesn't want to warm up and I turned the heating up today, just to, oh my gosh, really? That is frustrating. Well, well we can't mess up anymore. Um, okay, I messed up. Let's see if we can still get this one. Okay, no. Let's give up again. Sorry about this, guys. Uh, for some reason, my D-pad doesn't want to work either. So, you know, the house has been super cold lately, and I lay down in my bed to read a book because I like to try and, you know, get 30 minutes of reading in a day. Otherwise, I just won't get through books. Like, I am a very slow reader. And if I do try to, like, read really fast, I'll usually uh, not retain as much information. So I was doing that. All of a sudden, I'm sleeping. I have absolutely no idea how it happened. But I fell asleep, and I woke up, like, three hours later, and I was like, how the hell did this happen, you know? I have no idea. I think maybe my body just get like used to being warm and decided that I was going to sleep. But here we go. Last one, which is the planes. And rather than chase after all these guys, well, you know, I might as well chase after them. I think I have enough time here anyway to get them all. Hopefully. How many are we missing? Five? Three? There's another one. There's one there. Cool. Where's the last one? There. Will we get it in time, though? Two. Boom! With 0 0.83 seconds to spare, we complete the course. Awesome. So I've literally wasted like three hours of my day from sleeping, which I really didn't plan. And I don't understand why Gavin with his cool shades. Uh, I guess we can do the race the biplanes. Let's try this one. Oh man, this is hard. What happens when I miss them? Is this the course I meant to take or is it like, do I have to hit all of those? I am not too sure. Maybe I have to hit those things. Yeah, they give me a speed boost, don't they? So I guess I'll just hit those. But I'm currently in sixth place. This is not where I expect it to be. So let's go down and get these. What? I was pretty sure I hit that one. Doesn't seem like I'm doing any good here though. Oh gosh. I have no clue what to do. 
I, you know what? My hands are way too cold for this. So, I'm gonna give up. And we're gonna continue out of here. We got our egg. Don't wanna do anything else, Sparks. I would not like to play any of the challenges. Nope, down we go. Bye. Let's go back to thing and get to the next area. And that was me cracking my neck. I don't know if you guys hear that. I need to stop doing that, honestly. I, I honestly have pulled, I honestly, what? Why do I always say that for? I would say honestly. That is one of my mean, uh, mean words. So, I have, uh, I've pulled my, my neck in a few times trying to crack my neck. And I do a lot with my back on my neck. Let's try and see if we can get away here though. I think we have a boss to face as well. So, let's head in here and try and get him done. Uh, we want to go to Evening Lake. I think there's a boss on the way here. So we'll take that on midway. And we'll see what we can do here. Aw. She always gets shouted at when, when she messes up. Poor person. Than to rely on a child. Don't worry about it. I'll deal with I'll deal with them now. Without the dragons, the magic in this world will wither away. Without magic, I'll die. And so will your ever so slim. Without magic, she'll die. So that means we need the eliminate magic. Now, watch how a real sorceress dispatches her enemies. Hmm. How would you like some dragon for lunch? I wonder what dragon would taste like. You think if dragons actually didn't get blown off the earth, that it would be like an exquisite meat? But then again, dragons needed to be destroyed in order for humans to uh, evolve. That actually is kind of weird how evolution took sort of a separate route. Like, evolution made dragons, and then, you know, the earth was wiped clean. you think it would make dragons again, but obviously it didn't. It, well, not dragons, dinosaurs, sorry. I always get confused with dragons and dinosaurs. Like, what is the difference between them? Not sure. We got Sergeant Bird here. Okay, so you're gonna help me, are you, buddy? Keep fighting the good fight. So this guy here, if I remember correctly, runs about with a hammer. And he has a freaking laser gun as well. And we need to just do that. But if we don't aim correctly, he is going to absolutely annihilate us. So we just need to run around. Eh, no, this guy is super hard by the way, like, don't know if I mentioned this before, but my d-pad is like barely functioning right now. So it kind of sucks, and it's really freaking easy to, oh gosh, really easy to mess things up. Oh gosh. I need to kind of aim these properly. Oh no, he can aim in mid air, damn it, I thought. Okay, I'm dead. Wow. We've got... He's, he's fires three of those, right? Alright. And they sort of home in, don't they? Alright. He fired two that time, though. So if we run across it, he tries to hit us. I don't know if I'll actually win this one, because he is... gotten me down to my lowest health. But I think the general... I'm dead. Alright, uh, I think it'll take a minute or two for my head to actually know what we have to do here. But, let's see. So he runs at you when you're close. And he fires his laser beam there. There's one down at least. So he fires two at a time? Oh crap. Almost got me there. Okay, first two at a time. And then he goes and smashes the ammo that the bird drops. Boom. Okay, there's two. I'm actually not looking forward to the advanced version of this because I can tell this guy's gonna be a pain in the ass. Oh, he got me mid air. Oh dear. What the hell is he doing now? Oh, we have these lava crevices. Okay, this is gonna be tough. What does he do with that? 
Does that give him some- oh gosh. Yeah, this is fun. You think Sergeant Bird would actually be useful? I have no idea what that does. Fire Breath? Oh gosh. I can't even- oh wow. Oh my gosh! I have completely ruined my chances of beating this guy twice in a row. I look like a pretty big idiot right now, don't I? Who does that? We need to get that. Okay, I'm dead. Alright. Positive emotions, Paul. Positive emotions. This is my last chance. This opportunity comes in once in a lifetime. Let's go and get that. Oh gosh, I've... I've ew! That saved my life. <laughs> nice one. Nice shot there. I'm actually starting to get angry at this game. I don't know if you guys can tell. I, 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 don't, I don't know if it's normal, but I get like manically angry at things. Like when I, when I, when I get hit in a video game, I'll start to like manically laugh. <laughs> I'm going insane. And then again, the Buddha said that, you know, the first step towards sanity is realizing that you are insane. Like I manically laugh at things when I when, when I'm frustrated. And I don't know if that's... I'm meant to do that or not. Like, I don't know if... Oh, gosh. Ice down three! Right. I'll make a promise, guys. If I don't get it this time, I'm just going to cut to the point where I do. Because I know it's very frustrating for me to play it. It's very frustrating for me to play this. So, I'm sure it's very frustrating for you guys to watch it. But then again, this is my first time playing this game in over 15 years. And I kind of... 15? No. This game wasn't released in 98, was it? Oh wow, maybe it was. Wow, that's crazy. Is it because PS2 was 2002? 2001, 2002? Yeah, it must have been like 14, 15 years ago this game was released. That's crazy. So I'll give it one more chance and then if I don't get it, I'm just going to... Uh, I'm just going to continue sort of where I do get it. Right, Birdman, I really don't care. Honestly, you're probably the most useless sidekick to ever exist in a video game. All you do is flap your wings. Where's one? Oh gosh. I'm actually surprised he didn't get me there. Come on, shoot me. Another one. Oh dear! Oh my gosh, that is so frustrating. The AI in this is like really, really infuriating. I missed that one. I wish, I wish Sergeant Bird was actually somewhat competent and left those lava balls. I missed that. Oh wow. Come on, let's go big man. Okay, calm down. One, two. Cool. So this is, this is the fire one. Oh no, well you're not getting that buddy. Right, we're halfway there and I have no health left, so. There's another one, okay, we're good. He's firing four at a time. Give me that. Oh yeah. I wish the bird mom would actually drop some over here instead of letting this guy do all the dirty work. Right, this is gonna be tough. I have no idea what this does. Oh gosh, this is like a laser. How do I avoid this? My finger is getting tired. There we go. I think we have one hit left and he dies. Don't be doing this to me, game. Yes! Oh, I have no idea how I did that, but we did it. Thank frick for that. Okay, now I can we eat that butterfly so we can get sparks back? Sorry for that. At least there is no more manic laughter. Ha 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 ha. 
I, oh gosh, I always do that when my uh, my code doesn't work when I'm programming. Like my code doesn't work and I'm and, like I'm frustrated. I'll start laughing at the PC. Like literally, you'll be in the room with me and it'll look like I'm insane. I'm just sitting laughing at a PC, like <laughs> like a like an evil scientist. Like oh my god, this level looks cool. Oh, is that like what the hell is that? Whoa! Oh, it's her. Listen to me, Dragon. Spiral. This is serious now. The sorceress is planning a trap for you, and if she catches you, believe me, you don't want to know what she's gonna do. Okay. Look, I promise to take good care of the rest of the eggs. I mean it. Just take Hunter and go back home before, before. I can't say it. Aww. Just go. I think Bianca has like a secret crush on me. Um. Okay, let's just let's just see how many we can get here. In terms of uh, gems, so I don't think we're gonna get too much done today. Bar that. All right, cool. I like the music for these. I've always liked the overworld music for Spyro games. Sunken treasure ship down there, but I think we'll get the overworld today and see what we can do. Hopefully we can get that Sparks power up soon where we can actually point towards the gems. Ooh. Hi again, Spyro. Hi, Zoe. This power up can make you invincible, but only for Alright, so let's see. Oh, okay, that's what you do. Stuart! What up, Stuart? Cool. Head bash, missed it. Head bash, got it. Cool. One up. Sweet, we needed that. Round and round we go. Where we'll stop? Nobody knows. Free egg for me as well here. We got Ted. What up, Ted? You look so cool. What's down here? Ooh, was it like a rocket ship? Oh man! So it looks like we'll be going to the moon. Reminds me of that DuckTales song, the moon, doesn't it? This overworld doesn't look insanely big. I'm really awful at navigating underwater though. But I think Spyro does have some of the best underwater sort of platforming. And it doesn't have that annoying sort of water. I, you, you ever seen a lot of platformers, they have like a, an oxygen meter? And so every time you go underwater, you're like paranoid in case like you die. I know, especially for like uh, Sonic, I was always like that. It was like, do, 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 do. you do not know how paranoid that made me as a kid of water levels, like literally just going underwater and hearing those noises. Anything there? No. Um, is that something? What's this? What are these? Like this, things that light up? I assume so. Ooh. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's a jam wheel. Can we attack it? Or does it attack us? That is what I want to know. No, it seems like it's just a wheel. Randomly swimming down here for some reason. This pirate ship level looks cool though, doesn't it? Any gems on it that I can snatch up? Nope. Do see some stuff over here though. Nice ambience to this area. Pretty chill. Pretty chill out, isn't it? The music really adds to it as well. Hopefully we can get that Yeti dude. Oh, there he is there. <laughs> the sorceress has a real prize on her hands here. It took two dozen Rhinox to capture this dim-witted furball, so you'd better believe he's not going to get out cheap. How much you want money bags? A thousand gems? Uh, at least I'm a nice guy. Here we go. I'm not going to go into the level just yet because we are towards the end of the episode, but I want to see what he has to say. First rejuvenate in breath of freedom. <laughs> With the humility of a wounded sparrow, I genuflect to my noble deliverer. He sounds very uh, noble for a, a yeti. Yes. 
After all, it was I who let you out. Why, you brazenly avaricious, duplicitous, larcenous ursine! Now hold on! <laughs> Money bags gets what he deserves. Or perhaps Go for it. At least. <laughs> Please do afford me the sublime honor of enjoying your visitation in the nearest future. Yeah. Sure. Sparrow has no clue what he's saying. There we go. So we know I have a new character to play as. Sweet. Nice little backdrop here as well. Very nice. Very nice indeed. My memory card's broke. Oh no. So it's Bentley. Very cool. Very cool. But we'll find out what Bentley's up to in the next episode of Let's Play Spire Year of the Dragon. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Join me next time where we will be exploring the rest of the levels in this area. I think we're going to go and experiment a little bit with Bentley. But on that note, I'll sign out here. So thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you tomorrow for another episode. And this is Paul, sending out have a very nice day. Goodbye.